and I'm four. Welcome to children's time. Hi, kids. Hi, Brother Ida Kay. Hi. Hi. Well, kids, as you know, we are in a four-week series on the topic of the Sabbath, both during Oaktown Live and during children's time. Last week during children's time, we learned that Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know how I missed that. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Yeah. It was right there. But, but at least I don't miss any scientific stuff. So kids, when we treat Sabbath special, we honor Jesus. We also learn that keeping the Sabbath builds our faith in a God who created everything and who can help us do anything. For our lesson today, what's wrong? I don't know. I don't know if we told the kids what day is the Sabbath or how we can treat it special. You're right. You're absolutely right. So on that note, let's listen to this song that will help to answer that question.
So the seventh day is the Sabbath, and we can treat it special by resting from work and play and by remembering that God created the Sabbath. Well, today our lesson is on how it's good to do good on the Sabbath. What's wrong? I, I, don't, I don't think you should be doing too much on the Sabbath. It's a, it's a holy day. You just go to church and can't do that now because of COVID and, and eat and, and, and sleep until sunset. Then you, then you wake up and, and do things Saturday no, night. No, Brother IDK, the Sabbath is for doing good. Kids, up next, we will learn what the Bible teaches we can do on Sabbath. I didn't do anything when I was growing up, J just eat, sleep, and, and then wake up to see if it was time to wake up. That, that, that's it. That, that, that's pretty much all. That's, it's, it's all I remember. Well, hello, Pastor Raphael. I'm back. Hi. I'm on my way to another FBI case. Did you clear this with the author? Yes, ma'am. Do you have proof? Yes, I do. I take it that you're Mrs. Lori Watkins. How could you tell? Well, we're inside this airport and there's no sun, but you have sunglasses on like me. Okay, who are you? I'm Mark Raphael children's pastor of the Oakwood University Church under Dr. Carlton P. Bird, our senior pastor. So what do you need from me? Well, well look, you, we're trying to learn more about the Sabbath <clears throat> and, and some think it's an open and shut case, but most of us think we need to enlist the FBI. We are Big FBI fans. I mean, I just love you guys. We really appreciate it. Hmm. So what if I give some of your kids a few cases to work on in, in exchange? That would be great. We'd love it. I mean, hmm. it would be fine Permission with us. Mission granted. Gotta go. I'm working on a case myself. Believe me. We'll find the truth sooner than later. Say hi to Oak Town for me. Will do. And thank the compliance officer. Tell her I love the rap. Oh, stop. stop. Next time you see her, tell her it was nothing. My pleasure. But back to the business at hand. What's your plan? I have asked the OUC Bible Bowl leaders, Drs. Gann and Wood, if they would send out a few of their agents to find out if it's okay to do good on the Sabbath, and they are to report back later today. Okay, okay. I see you're in full compliance with your orders from headquarters for a change. Yes, ma'am. But I should tell you now that the faithful mission force may need to get involved as well. Understood. I will expect to hear from the FMF by next week and hear from the FBI today. Yes, ma'am. That will be all for now. Whew. Bye. 
some light. Count me, I, another case of who, where, why, we won't give up until we find the truth and that's the bottom line. Bible Bowl team, a child is wondering if it's okay to do good on the Sabbath. We need you to investigate and report back. I'm on it. I'll get to the bottom of this. Consider it done. Let the investigation begin. I will certainly find out. The truth can't hide. Who, where, why will be answered. You're on the right team. Okay, agents, it's time to report back. Is it okay to do good on the Sabbath or not? If we're supposed to be following Jesus, which we are, there's no doubt about it. What's your proof? In Matthew 12, 12, Jesus says it is lawful or good to do well on the Sabbath. Thank you, Agent 1. Agent 2. What evidence do you have that it's okay to do good on the Sabbath day? Jesus healed a man possessed with a demon on the Sabbath. Mark 1, 21 and 25. Thank you, Agent 2. Remaining agents, what do you have to report of things that Jesus did on the Sabbath to help people? Jesus healed a man with a withered hand on Sabbath. Matthew 12, 13. Jesus? He has a lady who had a back problem on Sabbath. Luke 13, verse 12 and 13. Jesus healed a man with dropsy on the Sabbath. Luke 14, 4. Jesus healed a man who was paralyzed on the Sabbath. John 5, verse 8 and 9. Jesus healed a blind man on the Sabbath. John 9, verse 6, 7 and 14. When Peter's mother-in-law was sick, Jesus healed her on the Sabbath. That's seven miracles that Jesus did on the Sabbath day. I think that's more than enough evidence that it's okay to do good on the Sabbath. Jesus did, and so should we. Thanks, agents, and may we never give up until we find the truth. <laughs> F B I another case of who, where, why we won't give up until we find the truth and that's the bottom line. Fearless Bible investigators will find the truth sooner than later. Fearless Bible investigators. We'll find the truth sooner than later. When I open my Bible, sometimes it feels like a game. Hide and seek or tag your it like I am lost in the maze. They say that God's word is filled with many stories and facts. I hear I can be sure that truth is one thing it doesn't lack. In Matthew 7, we are told you ask not, seek, and we'll find. Be patient, then a treasure open that will sure blow your mind. Like he wrote tales of David who killed the giant with one stone. Or Daniel in the lion's den who surely was not alone. Oh, when a boy's lunch fed 5,000 with some bread and two fish, the story of the Red Sea hike is one you don't want to miss. So when you open the word, be true to the FBI. Without fear, pray and let God show you the treasures inside. The greatest treasure is Jesus and the truth is his name. He is the open door. He lights our path. He's the only way. He's our forgiveness. He's our healer. He's our truest friend. The truth is Jesus. Bottom line, so shout it out. FBI, let's go. FBI. I another case of who, 
when, why we won't I give up it. until we find the truth and that's the bottom line. Fearless Bible investigators will find the truth sooner than later. Fearless Bible investigators will find the truth sooner than later. All right, let's go. All right. All right, let's go. Get it out here. Let's thank the FBI, that is, the FBI author, Lori Watkins, the FBI compliance officer, Dr. Lakeisha Williams, and the Bible Bowl team for helping us to see that it is good to do good on the Sabbath. In fact, did you know that Jesus preached a sermon on the Sabbath, saying that he was called by God to do good? Jesus said it here in Luke 4, 18 and 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. I do not think it was any accident that Jesus selected to read this on the Sabbath. So just like the Sabbath reminds us that God created everything, and so God can help us to do anything. The Sabbath reminds us that Jesus helped people in need, and so should we. Next up is a song that talks on this very subject. It's a song by a cappella, and it will be performed by Under His Strings. I reach out and 
try to solve for some relief. Oh, in slavery, the miners want to save. Work till the sun down just for pennies a day. Though my skin is not that color, it's obvious what's right. So against ungodly treatment, I am willing to join the fight. That could have been me. That could have been me. Oh, that could have been me. Pain and the tears, relief unknown. Questioning why was I ever born? That could have been me. 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 Wasn't that a very moving presentation? Like Jesus did, we really do have to think about others and help others in need. Here's an example of nature of a bird trying to protect its family and help its family. I was at the Oakwood University Church last week and my son Mike and I saw a bird and it seemed like it was hurt. It was sitting in rocks and it seemed like it couldn't move, but actually it was sitting on its eggs. When I went toward it to help it, it got up and moved toward me to protect and to help its eggs. Isn't that amazing? Well, if a bird can protect and help others, so can we. Do you want to help others? Even on the Sabbath? Me too. And God can help us. Well, let's sing our Sabbath song before we have our giveaway and our closing prayer. Power. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven turns on power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Well, kids, it's time for our giveaway. And I'm going to select five names. Samari J. Bryce C. Kaylee T. Zoe B. And Samuel B. You will get your prize this week. Let's pray. Dear Father, help us to help people like Jesus did on Sabbath. And of course, whenever someone is in need. In Jesus' name, amen. There's more to come on next week, kids. See you then.